people have been dressing in masquerade throughout the ages and across many cultures with a bundle of cane sticks, a whole lot of tapa cloth and a tribe of devoted men, you could have yourself the beginnings of a masquerade party. Papua New Guinea styles. <laughs> These are eharo or dance masks made by the Western Elima people of the Papuan Gulf. They were made as part of a, a cycle which is called the Hevehe, which often lasted 10 to 15 years. The cycle was an initiation ceremony and initiates were taken into the Eravo, which is a longhouse for men only and these impressive masks were created, some as tall as six metres. And they were also made to placate and appease the, the dangerous spirits of the forest and sea. And each month the masks would come out for a month of, you know, entertaining and basically a really boisterous time. They're made out of cane, so they have a cane structure and wrapped with tapa cloth and also have been painted using different pigments. So in Papua New Guinea, if there were two groups of people coming together, would they use these masks? They sure would. The host village would ask neighbouring villages to come with their masks and on entering the village, women would pout the mask wearers with shredded coconut to reduce their seductive powers. Typically, following the ceremony, these masks would be burnt to release the spirits. So that makes these masks in Te Papa's collection especially rare.